In this example, I'm going to show what happens when you have a drive that locks up and disappears from the system, uh, basically stops responding, and this or goes into device fault, um, which I know this one does. So I'm going to show you a demonstration of what happens. I'm going to go into the timer settings, and I'm going to set the soft reset time to 60,000. I'm also going to increase the general timeout because... The 60,000 plus any other time will be better more than this. So anytime you, this general timeout should always be higher than a sum of what could happen with with the other timeout. So I'm just going to make that uh, 120 seconds. Uh, a little bit of an overkill, but that will be high enough. Uh, so I'm gonna connect, start, and since this is going to take a couple minutes, we'll fast forward and resume when it's locked up. All right, as you can see, it stopped with source drive, responded with error to identify command, which means um, after it tried to do a soft reset and a hard reset, it could not, uh, it got a bad response to the identify command. Um, you can see longest read time was 60 seconds. Uh, it took about three minutes to get to this spot. We haven't got very much finished there. The progress log is updated. You see uh, what it did recover to. So, just to show you this, I'm going to connect. See this DF is lit up? That is device fault. This drive is locked up. And if I try to click start again, source drive responded with error to identify command. It is not responding at all. It's just responding with every time, every command it responds with an error. So now I'm going to do the only thing that I can do and power cycle this drive so I can connect back to it again. So now I've power cycled the drive uh, and got it back so it should be good again. I've reconnected to it. You can connect to it. I'm going to show you the smart status. Um, see the reallocated sector count is a hex of D7A. Current pending sectors is a hex of 233. So there's pending sectors. sectors so we know there's going to be at least um, some bad sectors someplace along the line that we're going to find. Um, I'm going to go back to the timer settings, change them back to default. Oops. And then I'm not going to show you the analyzed results because those actually, that the analyzed result was good. It didn't show anything. It didn't find any bad sectors. So it's actually a small... There's actually small spots, some here at the beginning, and I think some farther along. But we'll click start again, and we're going to see uh, how the drive reacts now. And watch up here to see the pattern. Um, we'll jump ahead here in a minute. All right, so it's been running a while, and as you can see, it's cruising along fairly good. Recent rate, 46. Uh, there, we just had an issue where it did a soft reset. So it's having, it's f uh, still having a, oh, we didn't set our uh, soft reset time low enough because it just locked up on us. So <clears throat> anyway, that uh, you can see there's a small, there's a little pattern here. There's a uh, one surface that's got a an issue, small issue with it, a bad spot. This that'll probably clear up as it goes along. Um, <clears throat> if I would have set my timer setting down to say something lower, like two seconds, one second, maybe even a half a second, uh, that might be kind of low for this drive. I saw some some kind of high read time, so. I think two seconds uh, would have worked and it would have went right past that spot where it just stopped because uh, a soft reset would have would have reset the drive before it locked up. Um, but anyway, that's an example of how to deal with a drive that locks up. So I'm going to add a little bonus to this video, something I don't normally do. So drives faulted out you see if I connect to it it's a device fault if I tried to start it it would fail um, I'm going to show you live what happens when I power cycle it so I just pull the power and see everything lights up 
Oops. Plug it back in. So now it's coming back up. I'm going to listen to it. And from listening to it, I can say that it should be ready now, but you see it's still stuck busy. So we're just going to go ahead and give her the old hard reset. Look at that. Drives now become ready. And we could, we could resume cloning.